we would like to present two different videos of two different type of full thickness rectal prolapse first patient never had any previous procedure for her rectal prolapse she is a 33 year old dancer we performed robotic ventral mesh rectopexy the second video you will see a recurrent rectal prolapse and that was repaired with robotic ventral mesh rectopexy as well and she previously had dualerms procedure the first step is to pull out all the sigmoid colon and rectum out of pelvis then we identify the sacral promontory and start making initial plans to enter on the right side of mesorectal plane a swab in the pelvis helps to mop out any bleeding and clear the planes in this patient the mesorectal plane has been entered on the right hand side the dissection continues low down in pelvis we restrict the mesorectal dissection only on the right hand side often in these patients the calde sac is quite deep so once we enter as low down into the recto vaginal area the incision moves in a horizontal direction towards left side then we often check the recto vaginal area with per vaginal examination and also per rectal examination in primary rectal prolapse this plane is still remains quite clear and usually straight forward you may find some scarring and once the recto vaginal area is entered we try and keep the septum as intact as possible and the 3d waves obtained by the robotic platform gives a high quality dissection capability often the bleeding signifies entering into a wrong plane that can be immediately corrected care is taken not to damage rectum or vagina once the dissection is entered right up to the top of the anal canal and anteriorly often it is about 1 to 2 cm from the vaginal introitus the dissection stops then a biological mesh which is in this case surgicis mesh from cook medicals was introduced into the recto vaginal septum and fixed to the rectum distally about 4 or 5 sutures then proximally attached to the sacral promontory as well using 30 pds sutures sometimes we may use vicral sutures as well once the mesh is fixed the peritoneum is closed in the pelvis right up to the sacral promontory with a 30 v lock suture 
that helps in keeping the mesh outside the peritoneum. Care is taken to close all the peritoneal defect to prevent any internal herniation of the small bowel into the defect. The second patient had a recurrent rectal prolapse having had previous Delorum's procedure for full thickness rectal prolapse. Similar to the first patient, the TME plane entered on the right hand side and a dissection carried on right down to the pelvic floor. In the recurrent rectal prolapse, especially if they had perineal procedure, the dissection of the recto vaginal septum can be difficult due to scarring. Excessive bleeding may happen, but the 3D high quality vision obtained by the robot helps to reduce the chance of entering into the incorrect plane. And as in the first case, frequent rectal and vaginal examination helps to remain in a right plane. The recto vaginal septal injury is likely to happen in recurrent patients, so care has to be exercised. Similar to the first patient, a biological mesh was introduced into the recto vaginal septum. You can see here that we have placed four or five sutures distally into the rectum and the sutures has to be as low down as possible. In this case, 3-0 PDS was used. Often this area is quite narrow, but the degree of freedom obtained with robotic needle driver helps you to suture quite accurately and faster. The excess mess was excised. As in the first case, the mesh was sutured to the sexual promontory. You can also see some green suture, those were the ethibone suture. We like to place one or two ethibone suture, one zero to the sacral promontory and the rectum as a suture rectopexy as well. Once the mesh was placed satisfactorily, as in first case, V-lock 3-0 suture was used to close the redundant peritoneum to basically retrope peritonealize the mesh. And care has to be exercised when you cut the free end of V-lock suture. It has to be very short as there has been reports where small bowel can get stuck to it and cause internal herniations. Often we like to bury the cut end of V-lock suture with one or two Vicryl suture as well. At the end of the procedure the sutures which were used to hitch up the uterus needs to be removed. Small amount of bleeding can be controlled with simple diathermy.